Okay, we have here Rafael Galvez, who is also here with us in McAllen. Hi, Rafael. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. It's been wonderful. Oh, good. I'm so glad. Can you tell us a little bit about how you got interested in the outdoors and um, nature? As a child, I grew up in Lima, Peru, and we lived in a concrete jungle. I was very little exposed to the outdoors. You'd think, living in the tropics, that I would have seen wonderful birds as a child. But not until my family, uh, under complicated circumstances, we relocated to South Florida that I saw for the first time egrets and songbirds and trees and rain. Lima is extremely dry. The rain and everything so lush and the birds just captured my heart. From the, from the very moment I saw my first herons, I just, I, I was a bird watcher. Uh, was there a person who mentored you um, in, your early, in your early interest days? Certainly. Absolutely. Um, there was a, there was a wonderful man, um, the then president of Tropical Audubon Society, Bob Kelly. Um, and for my science fair project in sixth grade, I decided to do water birds of our of my area of Dade County lakes. And I had so many questions, and I begged my dad to take me to the Tropical Audubon Society house, a little dog Thomas house, a little wooden house in the middle of a hustling and bustling South Miami and there was this old kind old man sitting in a wooden chair who had all the answers to all my bird questions and made such an impact and I kept in touch with Bob for decades after that. Oh that's that's nice. It's often I think a, a person who can really kind of spark that interest. What's the best part in your opinion? What's the best part of, of doing what you do? The best part really is connecting with people that and, and experiencing that moment of spark from the giving end. And uh, it, once, you, once it's happened to you one time, um, because it's wonderful when you're from the receiving end, as I was just telling you with, with Mr. Bob Kelly, or Dr. Bob Kelly, but to be in the giving end and seeing a child's eyes all of a sudden just illuminate with the wonders of seeing a bird or identifying a plant on their own or, understanding how an ecosystem functions. You want to do it again and again and again. That's so is, really the most wonderful part. So is that your job, is, is showing other people the, the, the beauty of the outdoors? That is, that is my job. Uh, and, um, I've taken on a project whose mission was not that, but we've incorporated interpretation and outreach and just having an open spirit about making sure that we are get, getting data, but we're also letting other people enjoy the process and making folks that are right off the street feel like they can be part of this, because they can, they can. So did you study science in school? Did you do a lot of science? I'd finished high school and that's all the education yeah. I, I, I received. But I've been interested in birds since, like I told you, since I've been a little kid and I've been working with birds always. And I've been very fortunate that with my limited education, I've been able to do, to make something of this. Mm -hmm. And I hope by inspiring kids, um, I, I can send them in the right track. And. What, well, speaking of that, what advice would you have for, for kids or, or really anybody, especially people of color who are interested in getting involved in, in some, something that had to do with conservation or the outdoors? Especially for, for kids that are first generation immigrants and you're going to find a lot of hurdles along the way. It's going to be difficult in terms, especially when it comes to education and doors opening for you in terms of opportunities, but believe in your dreams, believe in your star, and don't let anyone tell you that, oh, well, that's not for you or for your kind, because even with limited resources, you can do amazing things, and it takes perseverance, and most importantly, believing in yourself. Wonderful, thank you so much, Rafael. Thank you for everything. Thank you for this opportunity, I love it. <laughs>